Wake up, Rosetta. Time to go to work. The European Space Agency's comet exploration probe Rosetta, launched 10 years ago, has been asleep for three years. Electronics and heaters were powered down intentionally in 2011. The nearly 1 billion euro robot's unprecedented mission now is to orbit and land on churyumov gerasimenko comet. Rosetta's minders this Monday are all ears. This signal is just a beep, single beep, but we, if we hear it, then it means the spacecraft has done its job up to that point, and it's up to us to do the rest. We have a very tiny time window to, to pick up this signal and to command the spacecraft into its next configuration. And this is our challenge for the Evernation exit. Rosetta began its voyage aboard an Ariane 5 rocket on the 2nd of March 2004. It has now gone from Kourou in French Guiana to beyond the orbit of Jupiter. Ground control is hoping it's still fresh. It's gone 5 billion kilometers, having a look at a couple of asteroids along the way, sending data home. Earthlings have never played chase with a comet before. Churi, as some scientists have dubbed it, is a 4.6 billion year old, 4 kilometer wide gritty ice ball discovered in 1969. The key points are, for the first time, we will rendezvous with a comet. This has never been done before. For the first time, we will escort, once we have rendezvoused with it, we will escort it on its journey through its closest approach to the sun and then comes back out again. And then as a kind of icing on the cake, the cherry on the top, for the first time we'll deploy a lander on the comet itself. The lander, called Philae, should approach its prey in May at a relative velocity of 3.6 kilometers per hour and fire a couple of harpoons into Churi so it doesn't bounce away because it can't count on the negligible gravity. Drills to test the secrets of planet formation are supposed to help. Remote control over more than 700 million kilometers makes threading a needle seem like child's play. 